Tu ne lui as pas révélé ta vraie nature, n'est-ce pas Donnez ses pouvoirs. Oh non Not Jesus Je suis heureux que tu sois venu. Il est sain et sauf. Il a saigné. Il ne se réveille pas. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I give you consent to look me in the eye, Puce? No, Major. My fault. I was keeping him. Have I been late once, Major? Have you been early once is the question I'd be asking myself. Keg. Boston CEO. How she doing? Our right. <laughs> Boston <laughs> CEO here. You have not been I'm promoted. You know where he is. Do I want you to say it. so much. He said he knows. I killed him and he fucking had it come. <laughs> I've known for months. I just waited for you to say. And that means what? Well, you got to kill me now? Ooh, why he looking like that? What does that mean for Claudia? Did she help you kill him? Yes. No. You broke one of the great laws. I don't know any great laws. Lestat never told me shit. I told you I loved you. Go away. Calm down. And you said nothing. What the hell with you? Louis? Oh, no, not the music. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, so tired. I like, am... Uh, you want to come upstairs? This is what you what doing about right now? That's what I'm saying. Like, what she's. Are you inviting me in? Depends. Are you going to kill me? You? It never fails. Louis is always going to disappoint me in some kind of way. Louis's love language is threats of violence to his life um, because he was just about to kill you. It's drama. It's drama. It's negligence. <laughs> it's threats of violence. It's murder. Um, it's tragedy. Like, you, you, you are not that guy. Okay? You are not in some... I mean, I guess he is. I was about to say, you are not in some fucking epic ass like you need to be realistic <sighs> you literally just walked down this whole tunnel granted you might have convinced Armand to do something else that he wasn't going to do initially but that was the whole thing he walked you down there to kill you you even came to terms with the fact that like you you asked him to look after Claudia as if the, he just said she's not gonna be here long bitch what you think that means well, I was like, this man and now you're gonna go, about to go kill her is Louis tired, Claudia? Because you gotta be. Like, I don't understand. You must want her out of here. Because I just don't understand how you didn't immediately try to even turn around and run. You didn't come up out that sewer and take off, bitch. You didn't like say, didn't I'm about to him go to turn around. Maybe convince Armand to run away with you or something and take Claudia. I don't know what you would have done. I don't know if these are even good ideas, but what are you doing now? You getting booty. You talking about some don't give up on her. Bitch, you gave up on her. A part of me, a part of me, a small inkling of me wants Claudia to die before they, she gets to this play. Just because I want her to die while you get an ass. And you come to terms with that now. And then the question is, is he going to tell her? Uh, let me give him, because maybe he's like, let me stay alive one more night. Let me try to stay in Armand's good graces. Maybe he's like, maybe if I give him some dick, I'm going to lay this, this Louis D on him and he gonna be, he's going to do whatever I want. And then I'll be able to save Claudia. Maybe he's just buying some time. Maybe he's just like, if I keep Armand here, they're not going to do anything to her without him there. I don't know. Maybe he got a plan. 
put it. Knowing Louis' <sighs> ass, he don't have a plan. He just wants a booty. Yes, this, go ahead. <laughs> Louis is one of them. I'm an empath. People always uh -huh. pair with an abusive narcissist. Yeah. And I've been reading y'all chat throughout. Um, just got in here. Hey, Deja. Um, I am so stressed. Okay. And that's the thing, too. Like, there's so much. There's so much. She, she's sitting here in this chair. Oh, my God. Surrounded by these vampires, reading you the rules of their coven. You're not special, bitch. Did you not hear the last one? We will, we will enforce this shit. That is our creed. You think they're not going to do that because who are you? <laughs> like, why are you so different that these rules don't apply to you? Yeah. I, I don't know what her thought was with that. Like, maybe, like, I couldn't help that, so it's not my fault. But I just feel like, I don't know. Maybe I don't know how she's thinking about it. Yella said she broke all five already. <laughs> <laughs> Before She's like, if you break them out. all, it cancels out. Yeah. <laughs> like, Louie accepted. Um, they oh said she's going crazy. God. I do agree. And, they're okay. they're going to say she's going crazy and they're going to make so, her replay this. I night. did appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I hate it because I like this episode, but uh -huh. I hate this episode at the same time. But yeah. I did like the fact that we got some more lure. Like, Mm -hmm. Obviously, before Lestat met Armand, he wasn't able to do all these parlor tricks, freezing people in time, um, flying, uh, maybe pyrokinesis, we don't know. But Armand said that he should be able to do this, too, because he has the blood of Magnus. So I did like this. So not every vampire are just going to have these gifts. Maybe it has to do with bloodline, you know, right. the strength of their previous master or something like that. Maybe right. those gifts trickle down. But it made me think, OK, so who turned Armand? And on top yeah. of that, why are they saying Santiago is so powerful? Like, are they She's all within the same bloodline? Wrong. But he said Armand's not his maker, too. So right. But could Magnus be? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I was like, is it, it for me, him saying that his maker was in the box and he had the cloud gift like Lestat. I, I don't know. I'm like, maybe they do share some sort of, and they both have that, that show business. They just seem like they would share something. Yeah. So I think that might be a gag later that they may your maker or something like that. I just don't feel like they throw those lines out there for nothing, you know? Exactly. Like, the fact that he is of Magnus's bloodline and he can do these abilities has to play right. into Armand as well. Right. Hmm. So people are saying Claudia is an adult. I mean, yeah, I mean, but not, yeah. we're not looking at her as like she's really 14, but it's like y'all supposed to be family, though. Like, even right. Just that's, the, like, that's the thing. Y'all supposed family. to be sisters. Right. Um, and this, okay, so there are some questions. I'm starring things because I'm trying to get to them. Um, well, that was in reference to what Baby Lou said. She's in her 40s. Do we think he's using a booty to stall for time? I think to some degree, I think that almost like how Lestat was like, okay, he's powerful. I need to get in his good graces. Mm -hmm. Like Louie could be kind of on that same line because he sees how powerful he is. Um, so I'm thinking that could be a play as well. Like he could really be like, I better stay in his good graces if nothing else. I can, I can, I can see that if he's coming from a viewpoint of they won't kill Claudia without him being there or something. Yeah. You know or I mean? like if, if I get in his good graces, I can sway him to, I can influence him to do something different if he falls for me. Okay, I can see that. And because he also probably isn't aware of any type of conflict between Armand and Santiago and the rest of the coven, because I yeah. feel like that was the seed that they planted with that last scene where he's like, oh, so so you speaking for the coven? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like exactly. So we just watching you let this man do whatever. What's what you, we need something to be done about that. And if he exactly. continues to defend him, that's where this the crosswords is gonna come because in the middle of that i was like oh i got a theory and that's because oh yeah what was your theory i definitely think like I, it's just i feel so resolute in the fact that obviously claudia is just going to die something tragic is going to happen with claudia and i feel like louis is going to have a hand in that like i don't think he's going to be like the one you to kill her like be, i said previously you think he's going to be complicit definitely in some way whether it's in indirectly 
or directly, like he's going to have some complicitness in it. And I think Armand is going to end up falling for Louis. I still don't know if this is true, but I think Armand may lead. I don't know. I yet, can't girl. see with Louis being so weak, though. I can't see why Armand. Okay, so Armand at this point knows Louis killed Lestat or was with him. So the only thing I could see him possibly keeping him around for is more info on Lestat. Potentially. Potentially, but then it's like, what's going on there? Because it just seems like they were together and then they weren't, of course, according to his story. So then that's the only reason I can see him keeping Louis around. But like, it's been seven, well, they've been together 77 years supposedly now. So it's like, I don't know. Maybe he actually. Did fall he for probably him. do, and I'm thinking that if he does, that he betrayed his own coven for Louis. Like, I think maybe Claudia's death could be the last straw type of situation. Yeah, and he betrays the coven with Louis, potentially burning it down. Ooh, if that was the same, like theater, he did with the last one, the, with mm-hmm. that, like just kind of was like, I'm sick of y'all. Time to get yeah. a new group. He's he's shown the aptitude for it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And if he really is in love with Louis, then maybe that might be the direction he goes. And, but that's why Claudia is not around because it took Claudia dying and Louis probably snapping or something for him to really be on his side and move forward with him. And then mm-hmm. Louis asked to remove his memories because he couldn't take it. Oh, yeah. Because that, that's been the thing with Louis that he doesn't show up for her. He doesn't, he's not going to really put his neck out for her like that. I mean, he did attack Lestat when he attacked, but. It's always too late, too little, too late. So mm-hmm. I just feel like he's very that much. Is, so ooh, that is that thing. is so true. Too, too little, little, too, too fucking late. Yeah. So some of the comments, how can you afford it? So yeah, I don't, they're tripping. I feel like our Armand is clearly a fanatic. We've learned. I just feel like Armand is a fanatic. I don't know his background. I'm not asking to know, but we've seen his backstory where he constantly is about these laws and punishing people. So I don't think in Armand's mind it. I don't, these laws must come from somebody else because I can't imagine that this was just a group of, of vampires that just came up with these and they're enforcing it on people all around. Like, that doesn't make sense. So well, he must have got them from somewhere. The Lillinary is saying that Lestat is technically their coven leader in New Orleans, so he made mm. the rules. Okay, so that's why they feel like it applies because then they would assume that they would have known. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, and if Armand knows and has known for months, I just feel like the rest of the coven does too. Because what reason would Armand have to not either share that or like not go down that road with the rest of the coven? You know right. what I mean? Like Louis is weak, like as strong as he is for humans. <laughs> Louis right. is weak in he comparison is weak. to other vampires. So like, I think that's how he knew because he was in his head day one. You know oh yeah, I mean? they definitely knew day one though. Right. I and don't if think Santiago they were ever... is as powerful, then of course he did too. And it's just yeah. like all in the little su- the subtleness of like that that line that um when they were discussing Bruce and she was like, He taught me how to be such a good liar. And then a little bit later he goes back and was like, What did he say? Um, you still have some more learning to do or something. Yeah, like Santiago that. was like, I mean, you getting there, but it's not you getting there, it's right? Not, it's and they not. tried to do I feel like they tried to do a little misdirect and being like talking about the theater, but no, it's like nigga, you can't lie. Like you really think you can. And she's young. I mean, she was young when she was changed. She didn't have a lot. I mean, she's gotten some experience now being a vampire. But I mean, I always see Claudia as just naive, like really intelligent. If she was an adult and was changed, she would be unstoppable. But I still do think there's some part of her that's maybe a little bit naive. <laughs> Mary said, I feel like the only rule the stat enforced was stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true. That's probably true. Um, I'm catching up. So yeah, they both have patterns. And I think that's what this episode was showing us, like their patterns. Like Louis likes toxic power dynamics. I don't know how else to describe it. And Armand is liable to be like, I'm sick of being y'all coven leader and mm-hmm. just like abandoning his godlike status for someone who kind for of love. intrigues him. I don't even know if it's love, but it's just like intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I feel like honestly, though, out of Louis and Armand's relationship, and just this episode of what we saw of Armand and Lestat's relationship, Mm -hmm. I feel like Armand 
is definitely of a stronger connection with Lestat than he does yeah. with Louis. I feel like mm-hmm. he has more of emotion when it comes to Lestat and not vice versa, though. I think yeah. Lestat was playing Armand. And uh, Louis yeah. is the same way with like both of them are obsessed with Lestat. Yeah. So it's like almost like they're bonding over the trauma or the enemy. 100. The yeah. Enemy. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I just I want to I want to skip that. I want to skip two episodes already. I feel like next episode is going to stress gonna be me out so too much. bad. Like what do we think of let's start Sam Reed's performance in this episode? What do we think about? It? I loved our little scenes we got. The him busting into that room with the Jesus uh on the on the little cross. <laughs> My number one stunt queen. He a always queen, has yeah. a, some kind of production behind what he does. His words, though, that's the thing. Like, if I was in that coven watching him come in there like that, too, that yeah. would have rocked my world as well. That man is a wordsmith. Wordsmith came in there looking fine, holding the Jesus statue, tore it up. I, I really just using them damn thing. words. But, yeah. but also yeah. seeing him on the theater uh, stage doing his business. I already said it during the show, but I loved Santiago's performance a little bit better. Not like as a character in the show. I love Lestat. But as a as a person putting on a show in this theater, oh, Santiago was eating him up. Baby. But maybe it's because it was in English. And and is the English only rule because of Armand hating Lestat? Like, is that a rule because Lestat <laughs> performed in French? Like, it was all French. And now he's like, no, we only perform in English. So I wonder if it's also like some... I feel like Armand's definitely salty about getting played by Lestat. I don't know. Yeah. So if all of this is just because he hates him that much, mm-hmm. this that's kind of crazy. Because I haven't seen nearly as much passion in our mind speaking than when he did when he was talking about Lestat. Right. Him talking to him, staring in Louis's face, telling him about their relationship. It was yeah. like, damn, bro, you still, you still really broken. You He's said 150, 150 years later, but you said also yesterday. So it's like, exactly. I, I peeped that too. He was like, I mean, yesterday now it was almost like, it feels like, and he even said it at the end was time mm-hmm. to like, a vampire. Time right. Speaking. That's so one, he yeah, he, he's 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 stuck. He's stuck on the spot, and he could mm-hmm. also be. I mean, what is time to a vampire? He could be using Louis and all this time they didn't spit together just to get closer or figure out what's going on with Lestat officially. You right. know what I mean? Like, because I don't think I don't believe he said he killed him, Lestat, but I I don't think he. I don't think he. Yeah. He doesn't truly believe that. He doesn't. I don't think our mind because I don't think we would have. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he believes that either. He's just carrying mm-hmm. that lie. Um, that bar scene was crazy. That bar scene is crazy. Like that whole like him imagining dreams that singing. Oh um, yeah, remix. 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 Mustard on the beat. You ugly. You musty. Your hairline even like. Ooh, you're not that cute. Yeah, he dragged. He dragged the shot him. But that's the thing. Like that's how far gone he was. Like to the point where he's in the middle of this kind of important conversation with Armand, and he's just drifting off into this. Like it's one thing to have another voice within the conversation. But it's a whole different scene, a whole different situation that you just getting lost in. That man is gone. That I really hope the best gone. for Louis, but honestly, I'm getting I'm getting irritated. Okay, I'm so you so already irritated. I hate Louis. You we all need I'm, to I'm, it's not I hate so Louis. Louis. I hate the things Louis does. Put a put a five in the chat if you hate Louis. Cause <laughs> I just want to know because Jacob Anderson said Can I put a scared. three in the chat? He said I'm I'm about halfway. I'm about we three episodes in. I'm three because he did say a lot of people are gonna end up hating Louis by the season. So I'm just like, oh, it's already, already it's like, a just, problem. Just lay in your coffin and think for a full night. Just think about realistic ass scenarios and how this could go. Because you paranoid enough, you scared enough, but you're not scared enough to actually do something like actually put a plan into action. That that involves logic. You sitting here just playing everything by ear, letting Claudia go over to this fucking coven and say or do no God way. knows what because you don't want to be it. around. So you creating that space and you don't like y'all ain't even communicating enough to be able to be resolute in that things are going to go fine. You sitting in the coffin right next to her, not telling her that you done spilled the fucking beans. I hate you. <laughs> Sorry, I hate you so, so much right now. That's what's it's like they about. just. Uh, they just continue to hide and omit information. And that's ever since season one, you see how lie. this 
Oh That's his favorite God. kind, a lie by omission. Let me catch up on these comments and then we'll watch the after the episode because I just feel like we need some insight because I just wanted to punch the air. We're going we gonna to catch up on some comments and then we're going to play the after the episode real quick. Um, Folding in the bar, Armand knows, but will he protect Louis and Claudia when the coven finds out? So you think, I don't think Armand has any intention on doing anything to save Claudia, period, because he's a fanatic, he's psychotic. And she breaks the rules just by her very existence. So as far as Claudia, I think Armand is like, get her out of here. Whatever. Right. Armand and Lestat probably could be in the same headspace when it comes to um, Claudia, but going about it different ways. Mm -hmm. I think there's maybe potential. And keep in mind, when I'm speaking about these theories, I'm just throwing shit at the wall. Right. None of, like none of these I'm completely putting my whole ass behind. Right. But um, I think there is room for maybe Armand to want to be able to utilize Louis in the future or, or still create that image of a relationship and falling in love and all that. So he could be aware of Claudia's downfall, but maybe flip the script towards the end, but allow her to die. You know what I mean? And right. then be like, oh, we did our best, blah, 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 let's go. You know, that's that very, that's a thing. very, yeah, that feels like more on code. I don't think it's going to be up. I'll be gagged if it's anything besides something like that. Like what it, has to, I, it has to I be. I I would just be. It's some really some shocked. multiverse of that scenario. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there but was like, where is Lestat? I do you really th you still think Lestat's gonna show up at the end of this season? Man, I really hope so. I hope so too. I, I just don't I'm know how. I feel or like what, he's what not. Part he will play. I know. I am too. That's why I asked that because I'm like I'm, I'm starting to drift like away from it. Because Armand and Louis are still together. And I just feel like if Lestat had came back, he would either expose Armand or just snatch Louis up or just kill Louis for like, if you ain't going to be with me, you got to go. So I just, the fact that they're still together, I just feel like Lestat didn't show up. But there's always that plot device of removing memories. That's the only thing yeah. I hate about that. That's the only thing I hate about like Marvel and the multiverse and this whole memory erasing thing, because it, it, it kind of puts you into a, it backs you into a wall when it comes to like, using stuff as concrete like oh this is going to happen because of this no anything could happen and we can just use the excuse <sighs> of memory is a bitch right that is true <sighs> um he had a question i don't know if this oops i just got rid of the question rashawn asked the question and i lost it and it was way back so i'm sorry um but let's start doing a whole scene and uh sam doing a scene in french is impressive um somebody had commented about that um oh, baby oh lord what if the hacked recording leaks that was a question and that's why i said i would tell them yeah because you ain't gonna catch me as a human lying to a 500 year old vampire lo looking like i'm spilling tea no uh my computer is acting up somebody's messaging me turn that shit around <laughs> I, <laughs> because I when this know. does leak y'all not coming for me I ain't do I, just because they've done so much sketchy stuff like lying about who's who, oh, sure, having him in the room. I think I did something. Oh no. So let me let me go back and see if I can find this question. Oh, here you go. What I was thinking about if your body stops growing, her brain oh, quits. Oh, her, her brain quits developing too, doesn't it? So she will always that's what I'm thinking too, uh, my lord God. I'm thinking that it's like she cognitively is limited by the age in which she's turned. And I think that's kind of what our mom was maybe even kind of suggesting that they're always stuck and they're always limited so maybe that will always cause issues later on as she gets older and she's stuck you know that's kind of like how i took it a little bit too um so put one if you love louis we ain't we ain't trying to do no love louis love in here we're just so done with him um what if lestat is the one buying the painting that would be crazy Ooh, that would be juicy if Lestat is the one buying the painting. A Ralphie emo instead of a Ralph. Ralphie instead of Momo Strong. Ralphie. You said, who is Ralphie? You to my dad, Ralphie? Ralphie from the Christmas story. That's what I'm thinking, like from the Christmas story. Oh, you to my I'm in danger, Ralphie. Yeah, we'll do that one. We'll do the uh, I'm in danger, Ralphie. Um, so we're gonna play the after the episode, okay, y'all. Um, but what do you think of that? What do you think of that? If Lestat is the one buying the painting, that would be a gag. I was trying to put you back on somebody's headphones, keep going in and out. Oh, okay, he, he's still working on it. I won't play it until he can. Okay, hear. No, I'm good. I think now, I'm good. Now. Someone said, like, what if Lestat is the one buying the painting? 
Oh, that'd be a little cute callback. But I mean, there wasn't, I feel like there wasn't enough dropped for me. Like if they're going to, like, I feel like he, the person that was buying the painting would have dropped like a little line or two that we could reference back and be like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Lestat's Le buying a painting. Ooh. You know what I mean? You know what also would be a gag? Because we talked about, do we think Lestat comes back? The only, the other way that would be crazy the only way I can see Lestat coming back and it makes sense that Louis is still with Armand is if Lestat comes back and light Claudia ass on fire himself. <gasps> I would be gagged, bitch. <laughs> I would be gagged. Because <laughs> I feel like they, oh my God. we've seen that Armand lights people on fire. We know she gonna get burnt oh to do if she is killed. I think they put the humans in with the rats. I don't see her putting her, her in with the rats. So mm -hmm. she gonna get burnt. So I just feel like if Lestat just come and be like, oh, yes, the, the coven rules, you broke them by killing me, bitch. Burn. Oh. And then that would be the only reason it would make sense that that Louis would be with Armand in the prison and not. But, but Lestat broke the rule. That, he'd be so, but he's, he's Lestat. Lestat. He made the coven, moment. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Boston CEO. Because I know if I was Claudia <laughs> chained up somewhere and Lestat popped up and he about to burn me and that's what he'd say. I'm like, nigga, you turned me. I didn't and ask who, you whose picture is on the wall, Mrs. Little Miss. Who that's when that's when that's when you go out screaming to the rest of the coven. Look what he's doing to me. They gonna be like, with, he's gonna stop with me. Yeah. <laughs> you're so, next. You're next. You're next. Girl, bye. You a child. That's why you gotta go. Um I'm, oh, you know what? I'm oh. glad. I'm glad this don't this not like all out with Netflix because I need a I need a week to get over this. And to punch air. They better play and the just remix. To oh, I know. He should have died in the sewer. I hope they played the really remix. though. <laughs> but for real, should have died in that fucking sewer. Matter of fact, Don't just go and embrace. Go on embrace Claudia. Me. Try to teach her the ways. If she act up, kill her. <laughs> Let Louis go. He's he's. I'm his, tired of his Louis. Riz is too powerful. He might be the most powerful vampire in the world and the most dangerous. He be smoldering, giving that little light skin, the power little of the nice eyes, poom poom. Give him some of that. Oh, they be done. Louis is just oh, oh my gosh. So how y'all doing? Checking in. How's everyone? How we, how we rate this episode? How do we feel about it? I love this episode. Let me Every episode next week. Every episode gives gets better to me though for different reasons. So I just love how each episode has its own gag. Like, I really was nervous at the end of the episode, but I'm not ready for next week. I'm not ready for the next two episodes. I'm really scared for next week. Uh, I'm afraid. Vexed, angry, rough I episode, know. irate. Like, I... Uh, it needs that's vodka. the thing. Like, I, I was waiting weeks to be feeling like this, and now I hate it. Oh. <laughs> Like, I knew this was how I was going to be feeling during this season. But now that I'm yeah. here in the thick of it, into the thick of it, I'm irritated. <laughs> because it's not just irritated. like, I just want everything to work out. I want there to be happy endings all around. But I know that's not what's going to happen. This is not that kind of story. And, and, and watching the mistakes unfold, getting there mm -hmm. is just. It's blaring. It makes me cross-eyed. Like It's really blaring, yeah. Uh, I get this episode. A nine out of ten for the emotions alone. Okay, I'm over here. I'm going through it <laughs> in my head. But you right see, now. for me, I'm dead inside since I watched y'all kill my Pookie Bear. So at this point, we're just alone for the ride. I watched Lestat be murdered. Maybe not really, possibly, but it was still all terrible. I, I, still, I haven't seen Claudia it. die, and that's gonna. When I that's tell you, I might sad. cry. I might cry on screen. I'm gonna try not because we have to watch it live. So you know, we finna cry. I'm wearing sunglasses that week. If I feel like I know when it's coming, I might just have to put the sunglasses. I do on. got mine over there too. You're right. Thank you for saying that ahead of time. We go <laughs> you probably shouldn't have. No, yes, I'm looking at them right now. I will have them in that because I was spot. already like kind of getting choked up when they were reading her the rules and like you're hearing yeah. her here for the first time that she's not even supposed to be here. A part and of me, then they have to their purpose as a coven is to to kill vampires that break the rules. That's the fifth rule. Do you agree? She's like, yeah. So why are y'all telling me the rules if y'all are not going to stick to it? Is what I'm thinking. Because the fifth rule is being broken right now. 
I'm a child, not from the whole murder and the Lestat aspect, but I am a child turned vampire. Right. I am a product of rule breaking. That's Are what y'all I'm saying. just going to let that slide? Even though it's the fifth rule and you're making me swear to uphold these rules. Baby, two plus two ain't eight. So what are we doing here? That, that was just crazy to me. But shout out to Delaney for that scene where she talked a little bit more about Bruce. And that was the first time that Louie was like hearing oh, more yes. details about that. That was hard. Um, So that was tough. She did really great in that scene. But that mm -hmm. I, I was just like, it was just so much tragedy heaped on the end of this episode that I feel like how they left me here. I'm just so scared for what's going to happen next week. I'm terrified. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm like drained. I was gonna watch some uh, like Bridgerton, but I don't know where that's gonna go now. Not like the episodes because of the they show, just gonna be fucking. Okay, so it ain't it ain't gonna drain me. <laughs> no, Bridgerton's like right now. it's just like some good <laughs> smut. Now, don't watch Queen, Queen Charlotte. You are you you watching the first season? You're yeah. Not somebody it. told me one of my coworkers told me not to watch Queen Charlotte first, even though it's like it's it happened before. before. It was yeah. like there's flashbacks and stuff. That yeah, you probably won't make sense if you don't watch the regular show first. Yeah, Queen Charlotte might be a lot for what's gonna go on. So that's cool. I just need this to be out the way, and then I can go to Queen Charlotte. Yeah. I'm already gonna be watching House of Dragons in the yeah. middle of this, so I yeah. not know that's gonna drag me. We gonna so, be so angsty. We just gonna be so angsty. I'm gonna be cursing a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of cursing. cursing. It's gonna be crying. I was just gonna be like Kitty um, on that thing, just pouring a drink, like. I'm gonna make sure I have some some wine. Episode five is worse. I just read that when you said it. I was like, no. Where we on episode where, three? Where, where we at? Look, we episode three. Okay, so we got one episode to cope. I can, oh but God. that's why I said I'm nervous for the next two. I'm nervous for the next one more so because by the time we get through the next one, I'm definitely gonna know what I'm walking into on episode five. But you I definitely you feel like put the pieces together by them. Yeah, but I definitely feel like episode five is going to be the the thing. But I feel like by the end of next episode, we're gonna kind of see it. And then they say six and seven. So we just I was about to say, bitch, I'm laughing because it's like episode episode five gonna be worse. Also, episode six and seven are gonna be worse. Just eight, just all of it. <laughs> just just the rest of it. Nothing but tears terrible. the whole season. Oh my gosh. Well, oh anyway. Well, yeah. I, I really, a part of me, I know book readers will be furious. And I yeah. bet people that, even people that's not book readers and just watching the show and thinking they know what's going to happen. I really hope they pull a true blood and she just doesn't die. At least not right now. Like, like that would be a gag. Have us thinking she's going to die. Almost kill her, don't. But then kill her mid-season. They week. need to do her like Nezuko. Just let her go. Just let her be able to walk in the sun. Just <laughs> let her be burning up. Like Nezuko, because not me ugly crying on Demon Slayer when Nezuko oh. and his son burning up. Yeah. So just give me a Nezuko moment. Give me a Nezuko moment. Have her in there burning up, honey. And then she'd be like, bitch, I can walk in the sun. And she just go on her way and live her life. Can we just get that? I don't, I don't want that. I, I, I think a part of me <laughs> does. her to escape. Like, that's that. the masochist in me speaking. I do want... I do what want the, the emotion and drama of her dying, but I want it to be... Like, right now, we're expecting it. We're fully expecting it. We over here shouting but that's out why I mean the fact that die. But the fact that we're expecting it, I know they still gonna gag us another way because I just trust the writer so much that mm -hmm. the fact that we can expect it yeah. means that it's gonna be worse, not in the thing that happens, but the surrounding situation and how we get worse. there is mm -hmm. about to be the gag because the her dying is writing on the wall, but the right. gag is gonna be the situation surrounding it. I that's what I feel like is really gonna get us. So now I'm scared because I'm like, what's could what could be the gag? Oh, what did I sign up for doing these shows live? I know I'm about to go through it in these last couple episodes. I'm about to be in there. We're gonna be crying. Why y'all made us watch this live? Why y'all do this to us? Mm, I'm gonna try okay. to stream on sub only. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> like, less, less people uh, seeing this. Only two people gonna be seeing me crying. But yes, just a reminder: <laughs> going forward, the vibe will be up. So after this ends, I'm gonna publish it so that if you missed any of it, you can rewatch it. But I am putting the rewatch available only to people who sub. If you don't know what that is, 
there is a way you can subscribe so that you don't see those ads that pop up randomly at different intervals. You also can watch the VODs anytime you want. I have episode one, two, and I'm going to have three up. Um, so only subs can watch it. And then you get emotes. I have some Lestat emotes, some Armand ones, some Louis Demon Time ones. So you get those. And so, yeah. Um, make sure you sub. You can use your Amazon Prime subscription to sub. If you have it, just log into Amazon and then you, it comes free with your Prime subscription. So you can just yeah, go that, ahead and sub. That so, Louis Demon time should have been going off. On that's where I was, <laughs> my Lord God was posting the, uh, the Louis Demon time one. So, yeah. So make sure if you have Amazon, you don't even have to pay nothing extra. It's included in your Amazon subscription. Uh, what you pay monthly that you get one free Twitch sub thing. So you can use it for that. Um, anything else, Twan, that we need to? We'll be back okay. next week. I'm done, girl. You're done. I'm Have, uh, <laughs> Memorial you Day week. is tomorrow. So if y'all doing anything for that, be safe. We'll be back next week. I'm going to rewatch this episode um, for sure. And try today? to look at those. No, I want to look at the files. Yeah, I might do it. <laughs> I'm like, today? I'm just like, going like, to go back. I told y'all, my soul is dead. Y'all kill uh, with that. So, I need I, a day. I'm numb. I'm numb until Claudia is like dying and then I'm probably gonna cry. Um, but yeah, we'll see y'all next week and be on the hey, West. I got a question.